welcome. My name is Cheryl. I am a yoga teacher and a yoga therapist. And today I want to talk to you about how to adapt the very popular yoga practice for guys wearing jeans. Too often yoga classes become a bit of a fashion statement and there's a lot of women in yoga classes. Guys, you can really benefit from a few yoga stretches too. So we're going to go through a quick routine that builds strength, stamina, and flexibility. Have some fun. And then when you're ready, I'm going to invite you to take an inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, just bring the arms back down. Perfect. Okay. Now you're bending over, tight hamstrings, tight lower back. So you want to hinge at the hips, bend the knees, and pull forward first, and then fold your belly right down over the side. So let's give that a try. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend the knees, reach forward and out first. Good. And come into forward fold. Excellent. As you inhale, take the hands up to the thigh bones and press your hands into the thigh bones to grow your back really long. This is a powerful pose. It's stretching and extending the muscles of the spine. Makes your back stronger. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold again. Good. Now, place, place your hands on the ground. You might have to bend your knees quite a bit here. And bring your hands forward to the front of the mat. So kind of just walk your hands forward to the front of the mat. That's it. Good, good, good. And walk your feet to the back of your mat. We're going to come into plank pose now. This is a powerful all-body conditioner. Yeah, this is looking good. We want to see that the shoulders are over top of the wrists. The hips and the butt are in line. And a lot of energy coming out the heel. Yeah. And keep the breath flowing here. So you're breathing in and out through the nose. Building upper body strength. But also great abdominal toning. And again, holding plank pose for a minute or two, working up to that, can really help prevent back problems. When you're ready, you're going to take this back to downward facing dog. Again, this could be a challenging posture if your hamstrings or your low back is a bit tight. So you want to remember to bend your knees. When you're ready, we're going to pull the hips backwards. Pull the hips backwards. Good. Keep the hands where they are and keep pulling the hips backwards. You've got it. Really wonderful. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that works. Keep pushing into the hands and lengthening the hips back. This is an all-over body stretch. How's that feel? Excellent. You're using every major muscle group in your body and helping to rebalance. Good. Excellent. When you're ready, let's look forward to the hands and slowly walk the feet up towards the hands. Just take normal size steps for you. Come into the half forward fold position again. So you're really lengthening that back again. And exhale all the way into the forward fold. You might hold this for a breath or two, remembering to keep the knees bent if you need to, and releasing the whole length of your back. Good. Let's reverse our way back out of this. So as you inhale, reach the arms forward, start to lift the body up, reaching forward. Now reach all the way up, lift up, 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 and then exhale, take the hands down to the side. Take a breath in and out. Stepping your feet nice and wide apart. We start with the feet parallel, and then we'll take the right foot and turn it towards me. Good. When you're ready, bend the right knee. It's right over top of the ankle, pointing in the same direction as the toes. And then when you're ready, inhale, take the arms out. Looking down the right middle finger towards this way. Good. This is called Warrior Two Pose. It's a powerful pose designed to help you get in touch with your inner wisdom, your inner courage. Let the shoulder blades relax down the back. And just be really aware of the position of that knee. Breathing in and out through the nose. Nice deep breath. Good. One more inhale here. Exhale, release the arms. Unbend the knee and turn the toes forward. Good. Let's rotate through the left toes. Bend the left knee this way. Good. And when you're ready, come into warrior two. Facing this way down the left middle finger. Really pushing energy out the fingertips. This is a great groin stretch. If you're looking to increase flexibility in that area, maybe for hockey or something. Okay. Take one more inhale. And exhale, relax your arms. Unbend the knee. Turn the toes forward. And ankle flexibility is so helpful in daily life. So just maybe do that heel toe to come back to the mountain pose. And then I'm going to invite you to stay right where you are. I'm going to come into a little bit of a powerful pose called chair pose. It's like doing squats at the gym. Really builds up the quads, builds up the glutes, and helps to really build up back strength. 
So from here, let's pretend you're reaching back to sit on a chair. So the butt's coming back. Now lift the arms up, lift the chest up. Good, keep your breath flowing. That's it, good. Big breath. Start to feel those legs work. Good, good, good. You can challenge yourself to stay here for five breaths, 10 breaths. Go for a full minute maybe. And then when you're ready, inhale, stretch the arms up like you did before, and exhale, release them to the side. So let's take our right leg, bend the right knee in. Good. Wrap the left arm around the front of the leg. Take the right arm behind you for a little bit more Good. support. Inhale, nice and tall. And as you exhale, gently draw yourself into this twist. Good. You want to watch that you keep both hips pushing down into the ground, finding those sitting bones. Good. Take a couple nice deep breaths. You'll feel your abs working with the breathing muscles, the diaphragm, creating more strength in your trunk. Good. And as you inhale, allow yourself to release forward. So come forward. Good. Straighten out your leg. Take a breath in and out. Almost there, guys. And then bending your left knee. Good. We'll take the right arm around the front. Left arm comes really close to your back side. The left arm kind of like a second spine. Sit up good and tall. You guys look good. And then rotating through the waist, working the oblique muscles, taking deep breaths. And then you release the posture as you inhale. So coming forward. I'm going to invite you to come down on your backs for a second. And just demonstrate the relaxation pose that we finish every yoga class with. Good. You might be tempted to skip this because you've got a lot to do today, but it's nice to give yourself just a few minutes now to let all these muscles you've been working have a chance to really integrate all the new strength that you've built into your body. Close your eyes. Relax your breathing. And rest. 